Okay. Lovely sound. <laughs> Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> that one is always a little tricky to go down. <sighs> okay. So we're going to get off bike and scope out and see <sighs> are my brakes burning <sighs> thought I smelled something on fire I don't know um yeah we're gonna scope and see if it's too wet or not to do this thing and if it is we gotta go back up the sketchy mountain. Okay, let's do that. Well, we've decided to try and get ourselves clipped in. That'd be great. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for all the squeaky squeak. We can get down this way. There we go. And we didn't get enough speed to get up the hill. Of course. And we weren't clipped in so we couldn't do the thing. And now we'll, the tr bike is starting to get all dirty again. Yay! <laughs> that trail's always a little fun. Especially when there's nobody here. I like it. I like to do this trail when it's just me here and there's nobody else here. Cause then I can just do this thing over and over and over, not get judged or anything, not being pushed by other riders. I don't have all the bad things. I just get to have fun. Now, we do have a new thing on the bike. Uh, 
we got a bash guard put on. And I'll show that to you in a minute. So it's from Coxter from Amazon. It's kind of funny. It's beautiful mash guard though. Really good quality. Um, not had any issues with it. And it's not plastic. That's the main thing. If I had plastic, I would have already broken it by now. Plastic bash guard, not a good idea. But, and I'll put a link down in the description to the bash guard so you can get one. They come in about three or four colors. They come in black, blue, red, and orange. So, a little thing to look at. And it save once you get it, it saves your uh, chain ring from getting pummeled every time you hit a rock on it. I mean, I don't have to worry about it as much. But with my type of riding that I do, I wanted the bash guard, even though I'm running a 29 inch full suspension, but 20 inch wheel with full suspension on it. So I have tons of travel. It's just, I don't want to break anything still. I just didn't want to risk having to replace it again so we got a bash card i mean eventually we are going to replace the chain ring and the uh derailleur and i want to get not the axis but the upgraded GX but it's not axis it's mechanical so it's not electric so I want to get the mechanical GX from SRAM and I think that will be quite nice to have because it gives you that 520% gear range with that 10 to 52 cassettes. I think mine is a, either a 10 to 50 or 11 to 50 tooth cassette. And it's like the lowest end of SRAM. I don't even know. I don't even know if it's SRAM. Actually it is SRAM on the cassette, but it's the SLX one. So it runs on a Shimano free hub body so I'll have to get new wheels well new rims for the bike in the back mainly to, to wear the uh, well to run the GX because it uses an XD free hub body and I my wheels don't have that capability so I'd have to get that, a whole new wheel set with the XD hub on it. But other than that, it's okay. I'm trying to contemplate if I want to do it again or if I don't. We might try it again. Maybe, we'll see.
Well, we went back up the sketchy mountain, and now we're going down the sketchy mountain. And yes, that's what I call it now. It will now forever be known as Sketchy Mountain, because it is sketchy, at least to me. Okay, do the turn, that dime, there we go. Slid. <laughs> They gotta move that log eventually. Well, this has been a fun adventure, again.
coming through. <laughs> Well, that was fun. We're tired now. Okay, back up the hill we go. We'll see you at the car. Well, I hope you liked this video and please hit the subscribe button either here or here or down there. Hit the like button below. Check, go down to the description. Hit my Patreon up. Uh, any Every membership or anything that you get on Patreon supports the channel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on the other side of the trails and tracks. Bye.